What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video on my channel. And today we're going to be talking about Port Adelaide's draft pick, which is number 12. Our one and only draft pick in the top 20. And it's going to be an interesting one to see how Port Adelaide's selection plan go about it when it comes to draft night. In what is just under a month time, it's going to be a fascinating night indeed, especially with what could play out with other father-son selections, uh, with other academy picks, and eventually when we get to ours, it's pick 12 at the moment, but I'm suspecting we'll at least go down to 14 or 15, depending on matching bids, etc. But there is a few players in mind that I'm definitely keen on seeing in Port Adelaide Colours come 2022. So let's, without further ado, get straight into this video and see who Port Adelaide can pick at pick 12. Fair to say, over the last few years, we have got it right when it comes to draft night. You know, you look at the Super Draft in 2018, Dersma, Rosie and Butters, 2019, uh, saw a of Mitch Georgie artist, and then you look at last year and even the potential that Jackson Mead and Ollie Lord have, etc. So there's plenty to play out, and I'm looking forward to seeing what happens come draft night in 2021. As I said, pick 12 we have at the moment. Uh, we're also looking at uh, the later picks in 63, 64, in, and in the 70s as well. So plenty to play out when it comes to those selections. I feel like we will select two or three picks come draft night and use the rest to bid on potential father-son selections. And one player that is, uh, at the moment, a father-son potential is Jace Burgoyne. Now, we just saw Trent get delisted, unfortunately. So the opportunity for him to play with his brother um, has been and gone. But Jace hasn't nominated as a father-son selection as yet and is looking, well, whilst potentially these picks later down the track could uh, bring him to the club, it's firstly obviously nominating uh, a father-son selection, which... At the moment, it's kind of 50-50. I'm not sure exactly what he's looking at in terms of where he wants to go. Obviously, the Port Adelaide family, we know about the father-son culture that they've been bringing um, of late. You know, Jackson Mead um, has come into the forte. Burgoyne, obviously, as well. And, um, young Tex Wanganine has been around the joint, too. And he's obviously uh, in, in contention to be selected. So there's a lot of potential players to be picked up under the father-son rule. And Jace Burgoyne is on the top of my list because of this fascinating story around him and not being um, nominating as a selection pick as yet. I would love to see him come on board. I think he's been a fantastic player for the Woodville West Tyrants in the sample, constantly putting out great performances in the under-18s, has played at league level and has done a superb job. And I've been keeping a close eye on him as well. So um, it'll be a great uh, selection for him. I don't know if he goes at pick 12. I feel like if there's any potential, he could be in the 25 to 30 mark where we could use those later picks to match um, a potential selection. So... That's a lot to play out there, but definitely one to keep your eye on when it comes to draft night on the 24th and 25th. I think the main one that we've been looking at and keenly monitoring as Port fans and fans in general is uh, Nasiah Wanganin Malira. He's a young gun for Glenelg. He's been absolutely superb. We know his skill set is absolutely amazing. And uh, what he's shown and his potential over the last couple of years in his development is that he's going to go as a pick very high in the draft. And I wouldn't be surprised at all if he's selected even earlier than pick 12. Definitely worthy of a top 10 pick. His skills are magnificent. I reckon his his game and his attributes match our style perfectly. And someone we actually probably need a little bit more um, than anything else. And to bring him to the club, bring a bit of spark and a bit of carry um, with the ball uh, in hand is definitely something I'd be looking at when it comes to selecting him on draft night. Whether or not we get the opportunity to remains to be seen. But he's definitely a worthy selection at pick 12. And I reckon we'd be kind of lucky and could count our lucky stars when it comes to draft night if we got to pick him at pick 12 because he's definitely a raw talent. He's a ready talent. Um, and he's, you know, for a midfielder that's so silky and so pacey, he's 188 centimetres. You know, he's, he's just going over 70 kilos at the moment, but that'll build. And he'll be in that mixture of the rosy, the butters, the dersma, and really complement each other like that. So... If he's a selection at pick 12, I'm definitely taking him. Uh, unlikely, I think, but definitely, I think, with Wangani Malira, such a famous football family behind him, um, you know, the nephew of Gav, he'd definitely be keeping a close eye on him throughout the draft night. Tex as well, Tex Wangani, obviously, has played limited footy over the last couple of years and is looking to nominate for the draft. So whether or not we are able to select him on draft night or in the rookie draft remains to be seen, but I definitely feel like He's got an opportunity. He's got an opportunity to be a part of Port Adelaide. He's a very good talent. He's a very built talent. And as a midfielder, you know, with the Wanganee name, it's obviously been tough 
Profile Sun selections, I feel like none have really lived up to expectations or have delivered the same um, amount when they've come to football clubs. And I'm not just talking about Port Adelaide either, I'm just talking about in general. I feel like there's a lot of pressure on those kids. Um, it's a very tough selection process and a lot of pressure when it comes from you know, your, the name that you have from your dad and um, that you've carried with your family. It's a famous family in Wanganeen. Having that a part of your initial is definitely worthy of a lot of pressure. But in saying that, you've got to make your own in AFL footy. I think Tex would be a well, um, well-received well selection on draft night. I don't think he goes pick 12, though. I think he's, again, a later down the draft uh, night kind of pick in the 30s or 40s and definitely one, again, we could use to match with our bids, um, with our picks on bids. So it'd be interesting to see how that plans out. And I really, that's the whole story, I reckon, of Port Adelaide on draft night. Who we take at pick 12? and the father-son selections. They're the main targets, I think. There's a couple in there as well that uh, I'll be worth keeping your eye on. I'll list a few now. Um, you know, other than Jace Burgoyne, Wanganeen Malira, and uh, Tex Wanganeen, I feel like. One to keep your eye on as well is Matty Roberts. He's a midfielder um, from South Australia. He's 183 kilo, uh, 183 centimetres, not kilos, 81 kilos. He's a, he's a good midfielder, moves really well, and. Um, I think he'd, he'd definitely complement our midfield as well, and similar to a Willem Drew type, and very capable of using the footy uh, as well. So I one to look out for if none of these selections work out. Leek Alier, another Alier into the Port Adelaide outfit would be a very interesting to see. He's obviously a tall defender. He's 195 centimetres, very similar to Alier Alier, um, and has been dominating for centrals in, in the SNFL. So an SA pick, I think that's a, uh, a lot of the reasons SA boys are getting picked by Adelaide and and Port Adelaide nowadays is that home um, factor and keeping players at home. So another one to look out for and definitely, I think, keep your eye on because he is a worthy selection in the top 20. They're thinking he might go early 20s, late teens. So at pick 12, it'd be very, very interesting to see if we took him. Arlo Draper is another one as well to keep your eye on uh, throughout draft night. He's 186 centimetres, a 71 kilo midfielder from SA as well. Um, and definitely capable of being a high selection in the draft. So one to keep your eye on. A lot of the SA selections I'd be keeping your eye on. There's about four or five in the top 30 that could be worthy of being picked at pick 12. Sorry about that, poor fans. Camera cut out, but that is essentially my video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, keep an eye out on the draft night. It's going to be absolutely massive, and I look forward to presenting you as much content as possible across the next month, building up to what's going to be a stellar draft night. Thank you for watching. My name is Anthony, and as always... Can't they?